Got it back to McCluggage. Centering ball from McCluggage. Danaher plays on and kicks a goal. You've got to be on high alert inside forward 50 if you're a Brisbane Lion. Has not been one lead for him. They've got Cox deep. Steel side bottom. Wowee! Back inside, Daniels, short ball, Briggs within 60. The handball continues, goes on to Ash. Ash to the leading Hogan. And Hogan with a massive kick at goal from directly in front. This is what I love about this guy, Jesse Hogan. He will always... Always lead at the ball carrier. That's a bit of a lost art at times. Just being that hit up leading forward inside 50. He's still one of them. To get the Giants within a point. Jesse Hogan marches to the line. He's drilled it as straight as an arrow. And goal to Jack Martin. Martin have had an outstanding back half of the season. They have brought to life the Navy Blue Army who turned up here at the Gabba and, and they kicked the first five goals of the final and it felt like something special as Martin finds a late goal, he drags the margin back to 16 points with Wittering involved again, Pickett brilliant handball Fritsch, Melbourne by seven points. Really good from from Charlie. Just got himself in the right position to where the ball drop was. He's a natural forward, so he knows the craft of a forward well and has to hit the scoreboard here with a goal to get some momentum for Port Adelaide. Just 11 games for the year, including the last five. Charlie Dixon, can he give some hope to the power fans? He sure can. Good, he's just going to go. Inside 50, Wiedering. Behind it comes. A goal with 20 seconds left to Hayden McLean. Steal through the middle. Stocker launches it long. King at the back, takes a wonderful mark. Hurt himself upon landing. Kick two in that second term as the Saints were rallying. Prodigious talent. It's a big contested mark. We'll just have a look at this, the ninth, as opposed to the 16 from the Giants. Inside forward 50. For his third goal this afternoon, Max King. Pulls one back for the Saints. He'll line up the goal 25 metres out directly in front. Yes, that prize money is paid for both these days, the combination of both. So it's uh, even harder to win. Got to have both teams up and about, the AFLW and the AFL. W kicking off very soon, of course. So here's Sam Weedham, grandson of the great late Murray Wiedemann, son of Mark, of course, kicks the goal for the career high nine. Got the starting centre half forward in the Australian team. In his north, have the win. Pretty cool vision, isn't it? To see that. You can see what I'm about. Well, they have stopped north, haven't they? Mm. There. I'd like a little bit more urgency here. Hasn't kicked a goal all season. Alex Davies back into the lineup this week. Looks good off the boot. Looks fantastic off the boot. Mark. That's a good man. Terrific from Tex. 
He's going to hurry this up because he wants more time to kick another. He steps around, snaps it through and takes the lead in the race for the Coleman medal. Four goals. Good tackle and coughed up the handball. The pressure came and Allen rewarded. Good call for another review. I'm not sure. He thinks it's a goal right there. Review. The umpire's call is a goal. Can we please check if the ball was touched off the boot? He'll take a no chance. Review underway. It is rubbing salt. This is the crew's fans. But they have been told back here. They've been told, yeah. I get it. From here till the end of the year. Enough for the Tigers to finish strong. Dusty. Bolton. Shut down. Dusty gets it back again. And blows the game back open. In true Dusty style. That hurts. When you get blindsided, it could be a big cork thigh, it could be a bit of stress and strain on your knee.